Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. I'm trying to get some parts cleaned up right now to start a cabinet smoker. These are just the top parts of it. I usually show the cutting and not all the grinding, but there is a lot of grinding still to get everything ready to tack up. On that last grill from the last video, the Santa Marie grill, I forgot to get any video of it. Uh, I wasn't thinking that the guy was local. A lot of times it takes a few days for somebody to come get the stuff. There are a lot of people out of town. And man, he got there so fast that I wasn't thinking nothing about it. I got one picture of it. And that morning I was trying to get stuff cut before the rain. This is the only picture I got of it right here being done. I mean, with by the time I told him within an hour, he was here. So anyway, kind of missed that video. Jumping on into this one, and I got several other smokers going. But the deal is I had to stop on one. Let me move this one out of the way. I gotta go get bolts to do the handle mechanism on that. And this reverse flow I got on the table here, I don't have the wheels for it. They've been out of stock of the spinning casters. I've got plenty of the solid ones. But so I'm gonna go ahead and move this off the table so I can start this other one that I do have the wheels for. This magnet has been super handy. That sucker's heavy when you have to lift it up. But I have picked up a lot of stuff with this magnet. I actually picked up both of my tables with this magnet to put them to back the trailer up under them when I moved into the shop. And I'll just put it over on this cart until I get the wheels in, then I'll come back and put it together. It's just easier to do it with the firebox and the chamber separate. I would have to lay it on its side if I already put them together to put on this cart. So get that on out of the way, the way I have room for it. This is the smoker that I was moving. I just got, a, I think, a door and one or two more things to do to it. The guy sent the cutouts himself and just wanted me to put them on there. These little brackets right here and the table. And there's another cutout that goes on it. Using this HTP Pro Pulse. And then we just start fitting this chamber up for a cabinet smoker. Uh, I've done these before, y'all have seen them before. I hadn't done one in a while. I've got, I think three or four of them coming up here soon. I usually start putting it together on the other table, but this one being a little wider on the back, the back piece is quite a bit bigger. I just like to get on the table where it's flatter and then slide it over onto the other table. Then this is the firebox. I hadn't welded that chamber up yet. I'm almost out of gas. And I wanted to make sure I had enough to get a, 
most of it tacked up, at least before I welded it out. Here, I know you can't see it, but that's some little tabs I'm sitting there. So when I set the top piece up there, it has something to actually sit on instead of sliding down between the two. And just do as small attack as possible because it's got to come right back out. That's the top of the firebox with the opening. I already had it put together. It'll have a little griddle plate in there. It's just the frame of it, so I kind of use that square or piece of flat bar or something to get it as flat as I can around the top, around the door. That's gonna pretty much do it on this video. I was just getting the pieces tacked together and I'm gonna come back and show the rest of it. I just wanted to get a video up about that Santa Marie grill. I was supposed to finish it up and uh, get a video on it and I messed that up. I mean, I wasn't expecting them to get here that early at all. Especially in the rain. I was out there trying to cut in between the rain stopping and starting. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and y'all come back for the next one. We'll be getting this one put together. And surely I'll have the wheels and stuff in for that reverse flow and the other one to finish it up. We'll see y'all on the next one.